to the Radio Vault Mystery Theater. I am the Keeper of the Vault. Tonight we will talk about the desperation of loneliness and how it can lead us to do many things people don't understand. However, things that are considered evil can be just the thing to bring us happiness. Tonight, our story is a fleeting moment of pain. Act 1 Sharon Clemens had lived a lonely life for years, looking for the right man to raise a family with. She wasn't picky, she just wanted someone she could share her heart with. Too often, though, she was met with dismal failure because of lack of better judgment. The man she was now living with, Doug Marlowe, had just lost his job and was not looking for another one. Sharon didn't care, though, as long as he stayed with her. That would soon change. Hey, Sharon! What's for dinner? I'm starving! Sorry, I just had to finish warming it up. You were a little later than usual. Did you get the job? Shut up! I decided not to go. Uh, it's okay, honey. I can get more hours at work. Where'd you go if you didn't go to the interview? Shut up, bitch. That's my business. I bought some wine. I hope you like it. Ugh. I don't want any of that crap. Get me a beer. Oh. Sharon sheepishly goes to the refrigerator, comes back with a can of beer, and gives it to Doug. <sighs> Doug cracks it open and takes a drink. Sharon is now very nervous about what she has to tell him. She had hoped her news would make him happy. She took a deep breath and began to speak. Honey, I've got some good news. Well, spill your guts. What is it? Oh, right. Uh, well, Doug, honey... I'm pregnant. <laughs> you evil bitch! You're trying to trap me. It's probably not even mine. Doug, I love you. Oh, please don't say that, Doug. No, honey. Oh. Act 2 Sharon moved on with her life. The beating she took that night caused her to lose the baby. She would spend many lonely evenings in an art gallery. She found that looking at the artwork made her smile and immerse her with a brief moment of joy. She hadn't noticed the stranger watching her many nights she had been there. One night he approached while she was looking at an abstract sculpture. He spoke with a French accent. Hello, mademoiselle. I am Dimitri Lafleur. I would like to make your acquaintance. I come here often. I notice you do as well. Oh, well... Yes. I... I seem to find... comfort... in the silent messages that they send. So they speak to you. What does this one say to you? It says to me that no matter how broken you are, that your soul still lives on. How oh, very astute of you. May I entice you to join me for a cup of coffee and more conversation. I find you mysteriously alluring. The dark, handsome stranger seemed to take her breath away. Despite being aware that he was trying to charm her, 
she felt a sense of security like never before. The two went to a coffee shop next door and talked into the early morning. Dimitri offered to walk her home. As they walked, it started to snow and the conversation then turned personal. My heart was broken badly like yours many years ago. I thought for sure it would never mend. Then I met a seductress that changed my thoughts and dreams. She made me readjust my focus and live life to the fullest. Her name was Anna. <laughs> ah, yes, even now to say her name is to taste the sweet flavor of honey on my tongue. Aha! I knew there was a catch somewhere. You're married, aren't you? <laughs> I can assure you, Mademoiselle Sharon, that I am very much a single man, and that Anna is the one that freed me, but she is a distant part of my past. May I ask you a question? Oh, well, yes. <laughs> yes, of course. You spoke of your soul when we talked about why the sculpture, no? Why is the soul so important to you? Because our soul represents the spirit that continues on, even after we die, through eternity. But it is said that we are all born with eternity in our hearts, no? Do you believe that, Sherry? Oh, well, yes, very much. Yes, I do. Anna showed me that a soul isn't necessary to breathe eternally. What if I told you that in exchange for a fleeting moment of pain, I can give you the eternity that you so desire, along with youthful vigor, and no one could ever arm you again? You would accept my proposal, no? Oh, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Dimitri slowly opens his mouth, exposing his vampiric fangs. <gasps> <sighs> then come, and let me taste the nectar of your soul. Sharon was not afraid. She had fallen under Dimitri's spell. She was completely mesmerized and stood as if in a trance. She walked slowly to Dimitri and accepted his embrace. As his fangs penetrated, she shrilled in ecstasy as the blood ran down her neck and her world turned black. And now, a word from our sponsor. My name is Joe Backbehinder, and I'm here to tell you how you can earn up to $1,000 or more in an unspecified period of time. Does your best practices paradigm have issues monetizing the full stratagem potential of a goal-oriented 36,000-foot vision quest? Do you need to fully realize your next-gen cloud-sourced value-added content management system? Modular Convergent Fuzzy Logic Immersion Innovation is our middle name. We all need to leverage our sustainable globalization of a more responsive, streamlined, virtualized scalability. Can a nanotech enterprise service bus-based exit strategy milestone really diversify share options in a Web 2.0 brick-and-mortar portal outside the box? You be the judge. Best-in-class Tiptronic Synergy technology is the keystone of our forward-focused holistic political capital. Think about your stakeholders' spin-up mindshare bandwidth in relation to a best-of-breed transmedia survival strategy. Make sense now? At the end of the day, our ballpark figure analytics can enable you to procure a win-win framework and brand the low-hanging fruit in your core competency empowerment to downsize your return on investment. What are you waiting for? Be a proactive aggregator, attain alignment, and engage in some FaceTime with our Reverse Fulfillment Offshore Collaboration Center. Why not download our mission-critical cross-platform visibility solution and reclaim your company's real-time sync-up today? Act 
three. Dimitri had ushered Sharon into a new world. As her eyes open to the magnificence of his mansion, she feels a great sensation of warmth. Et voilà! Welcome to eternity, chérie. All this and more is yours for the taking now. Now there are only two things you must do. Feed and convert. Feed every day and convert at least once a year. I don't understand. I don't want to harm people. Oh, ma petite chou. Some you will liberate, and feeding destroys those who cause pain. Is it not an equitable trade, no? Oh, my... my blood. Oh, my blood feels like it's boiling. Ah, oh, it's gonna burn through my skin. Oh, oh, oh my God. Ah, oh, what, what's happening? What's happening? Ah, ma chérie. It is time for you to feed. Your first indulgence shall be an easy one. Now, go upstairs. You will find a wardrobe with everything your art could desire in a barrel. Choose and prepare yourself for our first dinner together. <laughs> mm. A few minutes later, Sharon emerges at the top of the stairs in breathtaking gothic beauty. Ah oui, très beau, chérie. It is time to indulge. Indeed, my love. <laughs> the two walk down the darkness of life that used to be that now seemed like the remnants of a bad dream. I have taken you this far. Now it is time for you to fulfill what your body demands and quench your desire. But you must do it on your own. I am going to enjoy this. <laughs> Ah, oh, oh, I can feel my blood boiling. Ah, oh, 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 my, I feel such passion. What the fuck? Hello, Doug. <laughs> Sharon? What happened to you? You look like a high dollar whore. I guess I need to put you back in your place. God! Yeah. Uh. My outlook on life has changed. I now love who I am, and I've learned that revenge, well, revenge is a dish best served warm. <laughs> no, Sharon, no. Indeed. 
Do we ever really know what lurks in the shadows? Is there a recompense that we must pay? Do we know when karma will come knocking at our door? Thank you again for listening to our story tonight. And happy Halloween. Tune in next week and see what other treasures we have in the vault. This has been a production by Troop of Lost Souls Entertainment and Film Syndicate. Written by Charlie Mitchell, produced by Anthony Stapiello, and directed by Rick L. Baker. Post-production and sound effects by Brian Collins. Commercials by Joe J. Thomas. Video post by Ricky Yvette Westmoreland. The cast was played by Joe J. Thomas as Doug. Anthony McCarthy as Dimitri. Ricky Yvette Westmoreland as Sharon. And I am Trevor Bates, your psychotic storyteller and keeper of the vault. See you next week. If you dare.